Hi everyone, welcome on another episode of Mel's Talk. So today I will be talking about the Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs program, which is as well called EYE, created by the European Union. So before I dive in, uh, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit a like button for this channel, that will really help me a lot. So in this video, I will be talking about the program in itself. So we'll present you a bit about what is it, the Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs program, what are the benefits of participating in such a program, who can participate, you know, what was my personal experience on the program, because I just finished it, what is the financial aid, support you can have, and yeah, that's it really, so let's go. So the Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs program is a program created by the European Union to help actually young entrepreneurs who either have a, an idea or who already have a business which was created less than three years ago to kind of have their first international experience in a European Union country. So you have I think more than 40 countries available, you need to check again their website and you can choose to you know find a host entrepreneur, I will explain you what, what what's a host entrepreneur, and you know, do an exchange that will last from one month up to six months, where you can kind of discover a new market for you, uh, you know, like dive in and work in another company, so have your kind of first international experience. So in order to do that, there are certain things you need to think of. First of all, you need to think about finding a host entrepreneur. So a host entrepreneur is a company that you will be working with, so don't forget that you're you're not an intern, you're not an employee, so the idea is really to have a, an exchange, you know, like be in a win-win situation where you can give some of your expertise back and that person, so that experienced entrepreneur can help you in your business, tackle challenges or help you, you know, solve any issues. So what are the criteria for you to take part in this program? So you need to be a first-time entrepreneur, either you have a, you just have a business idea or you have a company that exists uh, less than three years. So you've created your company maybe, you know, a year ago or something. So it's very easy. You go on the uh, European Union Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs website and you have to fill an application. So the application process is a bit long because you need to feel really your motivation. Or you need to uh, upload a business plan, explain really why do you want to do this program. I think there really trying to filter you know like people who just want to go abroad and maybe find a job and really entrepreneurs who have a business idea and really want to get the most are out of this experience. So personally, I did my exchange in the UK. So I quickly did the application. It took a bit of time because you know, you need to go through it. Uh, so one of my advice is really to go really through it step by step, don't rush the application. And through that application, you will need to find what do they, what they call an intermediary organization, which is kind of your local contact point in a country. So for example, I'm a French resident, so I chose a, uh, local coin, uh, contact point in France, which was Laval Mayenne Technopole, and they were super nice. Mr. Chomel, Nicolas Chomel, helped me through my process. So you need to find that local contact point. So there are a few listed on the website, but you can go and call them. So that's what I did. I called them, you know, I asked whether they had free spots, what's the process, you know, you just need to kind of be active, proactive in your application. So once you do the application, then there's the matchmaking with your host entrepreneur. That's when it gets tricky because it's really hard, I thought at the beginning, to find a host entrepreneur. So for me, it took me a while and they provide you a database, but it was really hard for me to find one on the database provided. So what did I do? I went on LinkedIn and I searched for really a company I was really interested to work with. So for me, in my case, because I'm interviewing entrepreneurs, I wanted to work with an incubator. So I typed on Google, you know, best incubators in London, and I found Hatch Enterprise. Uh, so I contacted directly uh, Dirk uh, Bischoff, who is, the, um, who is the founder of Hatch Enterprise, and I just sent him an email. And he was super reactive. He, um, he replied me, I think, that night when I sent the message. He said, we would love to talk about it, send me documentation, 
send me, you know, things to look through. So I did that and I got in, you know. Uh, so the process was really quick. So I'm not going to go in details because you have a, you know, work plan to write with your host entrepreneur. You have a commitment plan as well to sign. So there are a few process that will, that is super really well explained by your local contact point. So once you go through all this process, you are ready to go to your host country. So that's part I want to talk about. So is there a financial aid? So there is a financial support, which is obviously not a lot. So for example, for me, as I was doing my exchange in the UK, I had around 1,000 euros per month. So as you know, the cost of living in London is really high. So 1,000 is not a lot, but you know, it's just some, it's just a help for you, you know, to kind of like uh, help you with your rent if you're renting a room, uh, some groceries here and there, you know, but obviously you need to have a bit of saving on the side because you can't really depend on that financial support. But there is one, so just make sure you go through that document where you can find how much you will be getting. So they send you, I think, in advance, Advance, it was like two months, sorry, of uh, advance of that financial aid and then the rest in the third month and then the rest at the end of your exchange. So my kind of advice is, is really for you to kind of know really what you want to gain out of this experience. Like for me, my objective was really to meet entrepreneurs in the UK, find out about social entrepreneurship, find out about, you know, what are the needs of the entrepreneurs back in London. And I really knew what I wanted to do. So for me, I was, my mind was really clear the commitment plan we wrote and the work plan we wrote was really clear so I think that is important that you need to know what do you want to achieve in this exchange what are you looking for and what do you want in return because as I said it's an exchange you're not an intern you're not an employee so what do you want to gain out of this exchange so we kind of had an agreement where Dirk was actually mentoring me every two weeks which was amazing I loved the mentoring session I learned a lot and I think it's amazing to learn from an experienced entrepreneur you gain a really a lot so I had this then I worked close to the, with the communication team so I helped them on all the social media and I had them make interviews you know create content on the YouTube channel. So that was really amazing. And I was really, I felt like during those uh, four months, because my exchange lasted four months, I really felt I was part of the team. And you know, like you really want to gain contact. You want to, you know, like expand your network. So it's just not just an exchange. It's really for you a way to kind of like have this first experience in abroad. And I knew that I wanted to come back to London. So we really kept really good relations uh, with the employees and, you know, the, the people working there. And I know that you know, Melstock is going to partner with Hatch and we're going to do amazing content coming up. So my advice really for you is to just be clear on what you want and think that as a first step to your journey as a founder. You need to kind of stay in touch with your contact point during the whole exchange. So for me, I, you know, I was kept uh, just updating them about what was going on. So they made some Facebook posts, they made a success story about the exchange. And you know, you just have to be kind of proactive and give them as much, um, uh, you know, feedback as you can. And as well on the program in itself, I gave them at the end a few feedback. Uh, so the last thing you need to do before you finish your exchange is a report. So they will send you a report that both of the new entrepreneur and the host entrepreneur have to fill. And this is really interesting because you kind of like make overall feedback on the exchange itself. What went right, what went wrong, what could I have done better. You know, you kind of like bring the lessons you've learned throughout the exchange, which is really interesting. So I just want to talk about as well the challenges I encountered during this exchange, because obviously it seems really fluid and stuff, but I had encountered a few challenges. So my feedback is that obviously choosing your country you need to kind of think through because obviously if I chose London cost of living is really high so it was a bit hard because it's really hard to kind of find a room in London find accommodation so I, I struggled a bit with that but as I told you you have a local contact point in your country resident country but you also have one in the country you want to do the exchange so I contacted as well contact point and they helped me you know they gave me a bit of advices and you can just ask around so I think that was the main challenge I had really finding the accommodation at the beginning and then when I found it, everything was smooth. And then last thing was also finding the host entrepreneur, as I told you, because I really feel that they could improve a bit the database, which is, you know, for me, I didn't find one like that. So kind of really be proactive on really the company you want to work with or the entrepreneur you want to work with and have a list already prepared and just go and, you know, contact them one by one. And I'm sure you will find 
end up finding a really great host entrepreneur. So overall, what I can say is that if you're watching this video and really want to do the EYE program, go for it because it's, I think, an amazing program that is created and that is accessible for all the entrepreneurs. It just helps you, you know, not to go out there on your own, being scared, you know, you're just kind of in your program, you know, it's regulated, working, you have a work plan. So, you know, it's a great opportunity for you to have this international connection. And later on, I found that a lot of people knew Hatch Enterprise, so it's a great as well, you know, kind of recognition to work kind of in partnership with that company. So go for it. If you have any questions, because I might not have tackled all the elements, please drop down comments on the comment section just below. I will put some link in the description as well for you to help. And don't forget again to subscribe to this channel and let me know what other content you're looking in this channel. And I will see you soon in another episode of Mouse Talk.